What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin and I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So today we're going over boot cleaning. I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks to get your boots as clean as humanly possible. So if you're interested in what I have to say, stay tuned. All right guys, so let's get down to the real reason why we're here. If you're anything like me, you're definitely going to want some clean boots. So it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're building a house, you're on a construction site, uh, maybe you're just walking around, maybe you're going to a meeting, you better look good doing it. So uh, this process will not take very long and I wanna show you guys how to get your boots as clean as humanly possible um, in the quickest amount of time. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get out our pail of water here. So I usually start off with nice hot water um, and then what I do do is add some pure Castile soap. So Castile soap can be found at any of your big box stores. Um, I usually buy mine at Walmart. Um, we're just going to add just a little bit of a little bit of soap into our uh, water here. Now the next thing is always a good nylon brush. So the shorter the bristles on the nylon brush, the stiffer it's going to be. Don't know how one of my beard hairs got in that, but. Uh, so the shorter the bristles, the more coarse or the better it's going to be for these soles. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up my water here and we're going to throw some towels down and we're going to make this process happen. So, all right, so now that we've got a towel down here and let's get our boot out on the chopping block. So. The great thing about this small bristle brush is you have a lot of control to get in, uh, really scrub these boots. So I just load it up with Castile soap and then I go away at scrubbing. So that was some mud from the uh, construction site today. And uh, for whatever reason, I got it on my boots and you know, I don't like to, but whatever, sometimes you gotta work. So I'm gonna go ahead and work my way around these boots here, um, try not to make a horrible mess. Um, I know that uh, the last time I did a boot cleaning video, the guys were like, oh man, I can't believe you're doing that on the kitchen counter, your wife must be awesome. Well, she is awesome, but I did have some towels down. So, you know, I was able to mitigate a little bit of the mess, but you're gonna need an area where you can actually scrub on these bad boys and not really worried about collateral damage. So we get to a trouble spot like this where it looks like there's a little bit of grease. Uh, this is where you need to have reasonable expectations about cleaning your boots. Are you gonna take the time to really get down in the nitty gritty and get this out? Or are you just going to let it pass by, let it go. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna let it go. Um, every boot needs character. Uh, if you really wanted to uh, get some of these spots out, the thing that I would recommend is some micellar water. This can be found in the skincare section uh, at Walmart. Uh, what I usually do is take a little glass like this, go ahead and add a little micellar water here in it. And then you can take your fine or your uh, your bristle brush, stick it down in here, and try to scrub some of that more. Now, believe it or not, you know even though this is a porous surface and you know dirt gets sucked down to the porous surface, the back of the brush, the hard plastic back, can sometimes scrape away some dirt. So if you saw that right there, uh, hopefully I get the overhead shot on that. Um, you saw that I did scrape away a, a decent amount of that stain with the hot, the uh, back of the brush here. So it's up to you on how far you wanna go with something like that. It looks like it's actual grease. Sometimes you can't save those spots, but uh, you can spend as much time on it as you want. Micellar water seems to uh, help quite a bit. Um, if you were uh, wanting to try something like a magic eraser. A lot of guys say, oh, magic eraser does great. We can also do that as well. So let's go back to this spot here and we'll try to magic erase it out. 
I find that a lot of the times your boots will just tear your magic eraser apart. And that's why I don't recommend it. So if you're one of the guys that says, oh, you should be using a magic eraser, uh, you can already tell I've already destroyed half of it. So I do not recommend the magic eraser. So I, I'd keep it simple. Pure Castile soap, micellar water for some of the hard parts. Um, you know, some of that stuff you're just not going to get out. So with reasonable expectations in mind and, you know, a little bit of elbow grease can go a long way. So um, let's actually talk about these boots. So uh, Rock Rooster had reached out to me uh, about these boots. And, you know, I was a little hesitant at first because I had never heard of them. They're an Australian company. And, uh, you know, I, I decided to give them a shot. They sent me this free pair of boots. And I've honestly never been happier. Um, the boots are super comfortable. Uh, I've, I've been wearing them every day. I have about, uh, at this point, I have about 500,000 steps in them. Uh, so I've been wearing them for a couple weeks and I'm really impressed by them. They're really comfortable. So uh, if you haven't seen my video on that uh, and you get the gist of my cleaning video here, you can jump on over to it, the link in the upper right. Uh, I'll also put a link to my unboxing video in the description below. So, of course, now we're just going to clean the body of the boot here and get it nice and cleaned up. So what we're going to do today is I'm going, after I clean this leather up here, we're going to apply some mink oil. So one thing to keep in mind is although mink oil repels a lot of water um, and protects your boots, it also darkens the leather. So I just want everybody to be aware of that. Don't come at me when it darkens the leather of your boot. It is going to make it a couple shades darker. So uh, those of you that like lighter boots, mink oil is not for you. Um, I, would, I would try just a regular leather conditioner. Um, let's see if I have some. So I have some Scout Boot Care uh, Premium Leather Lotion and some, I don't even know how you say this, Feedings, Feedings All-Purpose Cleaner and Conditioner. These two products have done well for me in the past um, and you can use them. I prefer the pr Pure Castile Soap. Uh, these do work and they, they do okay. If I do not want to darken up the leather on my boots, hey, right here, use one, use one of these products. But if you do want to darken up the leather, mink oil. So I like the area uh, mink oil. I think it's the best. Um, I have some other brands, uh, but I just, I just feel like this is the best. Um, I have another brand, uh, but it, it seems petroleum based to the point where it smells like you're smearing motor oil on your boots. So I do not like it uh, for its scent. So I just kind of choose to stay away from that. So now that we've got the boots uh, cleaned up, here's another spot that I think we might take apart or take away with the plastic here. You see this little uh, black dot here. We might be able to scrape that off here with just the plastic here. And no cigar, but close. I think it did a little bit of work but you can just see how most of this stuff is right on the surface because I can just scrape it clean with actual plastic instead of the, the soft bristle brush. So as long as you have some reasonable expectations about the process, you can get your boots pretty darn clean. Um, you do not want to use something crazy caustic um, because then you'll start to break down the leather and you'll really start to hurt your boots. So the number one impo most important thing to do after you've cleaned the boots is to dry them. So we're not going to put mink oil on a wet boot and we're certainly not going to uh, be wearing these or subjecting them to anything until they're dry. So a lot of guys are always complaining about how their boots don't last and they're crying and complaining saying my boots only lasted six months or something like that. Well, that's because you didn't dry them after each use. A boot dryer is absolutely important to dry out your boots dry out those seams because that moisture in your boots actually rots away some of the stitching and it can rot away some of the material in the boot. So it will quickly deteriorate on you. People are like, wow, my boots, you know, 
the, for concrete work. I hear concrete guys all the time um, crying about their boots just fall apart. Well, you're subjecting them to moisture and some of the harshest conditions out there, and you're not drying them off every day, I guarantee it. So put them on the boot dryer, let them completely dry out in between shifts, it's that easy. A boot dryer usually has a three hour timer on it and you have the ability to dry out your boot, dry out the seams, and you won't have them fall apart on you. So let's go ahead and let these boots dry off and then we'll apply some mink oil and we'll wrap this video up. All right guys, so let's go ahead and apply some mink oil. So as you can see already, this boot looks a thousand times better after it's dried. Uh, Let's see an aerial shot on this. It just looks amazing. So I'm uh, really proud of how these boots cleaned up. Um, they're still fairly new with 500,000 steps in them, but um, nonetheless, you know, they cleaned up really nice. So what we're going to do is, even though mink oil will darken them up, I really like the, the look of mink oil. So what we're going to do is literally just uh, pan our fingers here into the jar and we're gonna load our fingers up with mink oil. And then we're going to literally two finger rub all the way around this boot. So, uh, yeah, basically just rub it all around the laces, all around the areas of, uh, areas of the boot. Uh, just be sure to cover every, every single surface you possibly can. So we're going to continue around this boot here. I usually like to put my hand in it like this, like a sock puppet. Um, and then, you know, rub it in nice and firmly into the seams up underneath some of the areas that are hard to get to. Now, this will make the leather more supple. Um, it will make the leather pliable and uh, it'll just give it a nice rich look while, while protecting it. So I will continue to do this on a normal uh, regimen. Um, I clean my boots about every week to make sure that I'm not getting all kinds of crap um, on them. And, you know, mink oil even uh, reminds me of a story. Sorry, I got off track, but mink oil actually uh, repels a lot of stuff. So not only does it repel water, but I've actually spilled epoxy paint all over my boots before. So I was mixing paint and a funny story is mixing epoxy paint and it splattered out of the five gallon bucket literally all over me and it came down my pants and right onto my boots. So it was literally all over my Timberland Pro uh, grid works. I was able to clean that epoxy paint off of the boots. Um, I did strip the, uh, the mink oil off of it, but the mink oil is what I attribute to not allowing that, that uh, epoxy paint to get down in the pores of the leather. So it really did save my pair of boots. And when you're talking about a $180 pair of boots, um, it's worth just taking the extra time to uh, mink oil your boots and protect them with whatever it is. If you don't want to darken up the leather at all, then you know don't go with mink oil. But I believe in mink oil and I really like it. So I'm gonna quit bumping my gums here. Uh, we wait at a uh, I think five minutes is what this says. Uh, it says, after five minutes, wipe excess. So make sure I get in all around to, oh, we forgot the tongue here. So I will go ahead and get the tongue of this. Once you go around the boot a little bit, you have plenty on your hand that it goes a long way. So instead of wasting the product, you can get in up underneath the tongue here, uh, get around the laces. And then we're gonna wait five minutes and wipe this boot down. So I assume that it's gonna be a nice darker, richer color, and I think it will all around look good. So I'm really excited about this. So they're not gonna look like Rock Roosters uh, normal color, but they are definitely going to be some of the most comfortable, supple leather boots that a man has ever worn. So let's wait five minutes, be right back. All right guys, now that five minutes has gone by, let's go ahead and wipe some of this excess mink oil off. So we'll go ahead and just go around all of our seams. It's not absolutely important that you get every little bit of mink oil off, but absolutely wipe down all of the excess here. Um, try to get these uh, seams and around the laces, stuff like that. You know, it will forever stay goopy. 
um, and just runny. So the hotter mink oil is, the more runny it is. So if you don't wipe off that excess, um, you get your boots back outside and it, it will start running down your boots. I've had it happen. So just make sure you get all that excess off of there. So looks pretty good. Now we've darkened up this set of boots. Nice. It's protected with mink oil. As they dry out overnight, you will see a nice transformed boot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you picked up some tips and tricks to make you more self-sufficient, get you looking good out on the job site. If you have any questions or concerns, put them in the comments below. Um, there are definitely other ways to clean boots. This is just my way. So my opinion, I'm forcing it on you, of course, if you're watching the video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. If you're subscribed to the channel, I appreciate your subscription, and I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.